stoichiometry and reaction quiz solution. How many moles of oxygen gas are needed to completely react with four moles of hydrogen gas in the formation of water? The first thing we do is write out the chemical equation. So we have H2 plus O2 to give us H2O. Then balance the equation. There are two hydrogens on the left, two on the right, two oxygen on the left, one on the right. So make that two. So we also have to add two in front of hydrogen and that balances the equation. Next, we have four moles of hydrogen gas given to us. So starting with that four moles of hydrogen gas, we're going to convert this to moles of oxygen. So there's only one mole of oxygen. When it's empty, it means one. Okay, so one mole of oxygen on top, divide that by the two moles of hydrogen. And the moles of hydrogens we cancel out. Your final answer would just be 4 divided by 2, and that gives us 2 moles of oxygen gas. And that's our final answer. Question 2. Which of the following is an example of a redox reaction? If we start with A, the rule states that all elements in their uncombined form we have 0 as their oxidation number. So magnesium is going to have 0. Oxygen, also 0. Now if we move on to the product, magnesium is in group 2, so it has a positive 2 charge. Oxygen is negative 2 in all compounds except for peroxides. The next thing we do is compare the oxidation numbers on the left and also on the right. So there must be changes, there must be both increase and decrease in order for it to be a redox reaction. Now magnesium goes from 0 to positive 2. That is an increase which is known as oxidation. Now oxygen goes from 0 to negative 2 and that is a decrease and that is called reduction. So when you have reduction oxidation happening simultaneously, we say that that reaction is a redox reaction. Okay? For the second one, B, hydrogen is positive 1 in all compounds except for metal hydrides. So that's going to have a positive 1 charge. Chlorine is negative 1. Sodium is in group 1 is positive 1. Hydrogen is positive 1. And then oxygen is negative 2 in all compounds except peroxide. On the right, sodium is positive 1, chlorine negative 1, hydrogen positive 1, and oxygen negative 2. Now let's see what's going on. For hydrogen, you have 1, 1, 1. Okay, they're all 1 in all the sides. Chlorine, the same thing. Sodium, the same. Oxygen, the same. There are no changes. So this is not a redox reaction. So no changes means the reaction is not redox. There has to be at least that reduction and oxidation happening simultaneously. That means that there has to be an increase in their oxidation numbers and a decrease. Okay, so for the next one, C, hydrogen is positive 1, carbon we don't know, oxygen is negative 2. So to find carbon, 1 times 2 is going to give me 2 plus the carbon, and then negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And since this compound is neutral, everything will be equal to 0. So to find carbon, you do 2 minus 6 is going to be C minus 4 equals 0. And C will be equal to, that crosses over is positive 4. So that carbon is plus 4. Okay? Now we move on to the next carbon. So we don't know what that carbon is, but we know that oxygen is negative 2. So to find the carbon, negative 2 times 2, negative 4 equals 0. That crosses over carbon is equal to plus 4. So that's plus 4. Hydrogen is plus 1 again, negative 2 for oxygen. So to check what happened, we have 1 hydrogen on both left and right, 4 carbons on both left and right, and negative 2 of oxygen 
on both sides so this is not a redox reaction there is no reduction and there is no oxidation happening simultaneously so our answer would be a which is a redox reaction the next one says the percent composition of oxygen in water is closest to and they gave us the options there so we're going to start by writing out the elements and their numbers so we have two hydrogens times 1.008 and one oxygen times 16. so this gives us 2.016 and this gives us 16 and the total mass will be 18.016 percent composition is equal to the mass of the element over the total mass times 100 so percent oxygen will be equal to the 16 over the total mass which is 18.16 times 100 and that is going to give us 88.8 percent okay which is closest to 89 so our answer will be option d the next question number four says what is the limiting reactant if 10 grams of ch4 reacts with 32 grams of oxygen according to the reaction they gave us a value for ch4 and also a value for oxygen so we're going to start with 10 grams of ch4 convert this to moles so we need the molar mass of ch4 so carbon is one hydrogen is four multiply carbon by the mass of carbon in the periodic table which is 12.01 and hydrogen by the mass of hydrogen which is 1.008 now when you multiply you have the same thing for carbon and oxygen will be 4.032 now when we sum them up we have 16.042 grams per mole okay so now we have the molar mass we need the moles so that will be on top so you put the mole on top and the 16.042 grams below and that is for ch4 so the grams of ch4 will go ahead and cancel out okay and we're going to go from moles of ch4 to moles of carbon dioxide in this equation we have one mole of carbon dioxide divide by one mole of the ch4 the most ch force we cancel out and then we're going to have 10 divided by 16.042 and that gives us 0.623 moles of co2 now we work with the 32 grams of o2 and we're going to convert it to moles as well so there is two oxygen 16 times 2 that gives us 32 grams per mole and again we put the mole on top because we're trying to convert it to moles so you have mole over 32 grams of oxygen the grams oxygen we go ahead and cancel out and again we're going to use the moles of carbon dioxide so one mole of carbon dioxide divide by two moles of oxygen this time the mole oxygens we also cancel and then we're going to have 32 divided by 32 times 2 which will then give us 0 0.5 moles of carbon dioxide now the idea is the reactant that gives us the smaller mole is going to be the limiting reactant and 0 0.5 is small compared to the other so oxygen is the limiting reactant so the 32 grams of oxygen give us the smaller mole of carbon dioxide which means it is the limiting reactant Y CH4 which gave us the higher mole becomes the excess reactant the last question says how many molecules are present in two moles of carbon dioxide we're going to start with the two moles of carbon dioxide and then convert that to molecules according to avogadro's one mole of a substance is equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules so since we want to convert this to molecules that molecules will be on top so times 6.022 times 10 raised power of 23 molecules 
then divide by one more. Okay? So the moles we go ahead and cancel out. And our final answer would just simply be 2 times the 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules. And that will give us 1.2 times 10 to the 24 molecules. And that is it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And see you in my next video.